He looks angry. Let me come over here so I can get a better look. Okay, anyways, um, hey everyone, how are you? My name is Alex, and welcome back to Hexacon. So, I built this, and it's the thing that's gonna be holding up my tower for where I'll have, like, my enchanting room and my alchemy room and my storage area and, like, yeah. Uh, I'm probably gonna change the face. But, um... I'm really happy with it. I really like the way that the legs came out, especially. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to get up there, but I'll find a way. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually, don't worry. So before I do anything else, I need to repair my bow. That's important. I need 33 levels, so it shouldn't take me too long to do this. I also have to repair my uh, nether coaster, because <laughs> the gas blew it up. So... Yeah, I'm gonna take care of that. That shouldn't take me too long. I need about... Yeah, I have about 30 levels, so it's I just need like a few more and then I should be all good. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do that. And when we come back, um, that should be all done. I actually ran out of arrows. I think this is the first time in a long time that I've actually crafted arrows in Minecraft. This is torture right here. I have like a full bar. A full bar, and I'm still not at level 33. There we go. Finally, I can do the thing. Oh, this, this took longer than needed. Uh, the whole... Really? G gassed? Really. The whole reason why I wanted my bow back was because it's just easier for me to shoot these guys with a bow than a crossbow. Oh, so close. Nope, ah. Got you. That's what you get for shooting at my base. Ugh, look at this. Look at look what this dude did. Look at this. Just ruining everything. Now I have to clean up after the gas because the gas can't, you know, keep its fireballs to itself. There's more on the bridge too that I'm yep, yeah. He shouldn't well, I guess he should be able to. I was gonna say he shouldn't be able to break the wood, but he should be able to. Oh, here comes the fun part, repairing my nether coaster. I have a feeling I'm going to have to be doing this a lot in the future. It's going to be a very interesting season going forward, how many times I'm going to have to repair this nether coaster. I think we're going to have to actually keep track of this, so stick you there. Uh, Hold on a minute. There's just... I don't need that many powered rails right there. Especially right before a... um. A hill going down. That, yeah, no. Right before slope was what I was trying to say. So. There you are. Okay, I one-shot at him. That's fine. But that's what you get for shooting at my base. How dare you come over here. You, no gas near the uh, nether coaster. That's illegal. Uh, where do I want to put this? Let's stick it right there. Wait. No, I'm making the same mistake again. Uh, take this. Take this. We'll do just a quick little switcheroo. Grab you. Stick you there. Yahoo. Mm, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Alright, so what I originally wanted to do... And I don't have enough materials to do all of them. But what I originally wanted to do was just put these up. I was just over there. Why is... Why is a magma cube? Well, it's gone now, but... Why? I just walked away and then there's a cube. Like, <laughs> I'm overrun by the cubes. There's too many cubes. I mean, I chose to live here, so I should have expected this, but still... Mm, what? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I briefly confused myself, but then I figured it out on my own. Um, 
this one, this one, and that one. Let me actually turn on, um, go into Spectator. It looks really good. Uh, let me go to Spectator and then, um, I will take a look at it from a slightly better view. Yeah, that looks cool. You know what? I want to see what it looks like in a shader. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Ooh, lag. I like that a lot. In this shader. That looks really sharp. I'm happy with it. There's an invasion in my living room! They're everywhere! They're coming after me! They want me! They're moving in! My god, look at them all! <laughs> and the slappy sounds that they keep making, too. My goodness. <sighs> um, I, I really don't need another magma cube head. I think I've got enough of these. So, goodbye, magma cube head. Uh, this is very high up. I mean, I've, I've got a, you know, fire resistance potion, but still, it's very high up. Uh, which is fine. I'm not, I'm still not certain how I'm going to, oh, excuse me. I'm still not certain how exactly I'm going to get, um, oh, I didn't, I built that too close. How I'm going to get up here. It's, I'm not going to elytra. I, I don't do the elytra, remember? But I think, um, I think what I'm probably going to do is build some kind of a bridge. I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about it, though. But I'll figure it out, I'm sure. I'll figure it out. So, anyways, um, this top floor here is going to be my enchanting room and my brewing room at the same time. You know, I'll have my enchantment table up here and my brewing stands and whatnot. And additionally... Um, down below is going to be my storage area. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to... Hold on. I, I heard a ma I thought I heard a magma cube. Um. God, this is really high up. This is actually kind of spooky, but it's really awesome at the same time. <laughs> I like it. Very rare is it for you to be able to do that safely in Minecraft. Uh, there was something that I was talking about before, and I lost my train of thought, and I couldn't remember what it was. What was it? Oh, I remember now. Uh, who's after me? Anybody? No? Okay, good. Well, you. But I don't really want to deal with you. I'm not in the mood. Um, oh yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do brewing it in the nether... Because you can't bring water into the nether. Can you fill a cauldron with water in the nether? Can you get away with that? Is that a thing? I'm going to have to test that out. Or you could just let me know in the comment section if that's a thing that can be done. I'm very curious about that now. Uh, so. Oh my god. The, the nether rack makes him look like he has a giant nose. <laughs> uh... Let's fix that. Carefully. Oh, and I changed the face a little bit, by the way. I think this face is a little bit cuter, but it also looks a little bit better than what I had before. I felt like the other face was too goofy, and it didn't match the other faces. So this one I like, um, I like much better. I don't know why I keep yawning. I must be really tired. Um... You can't really see the roof, though. So it just looks like he's wearing a big hat. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but, you know. Yeah, it really does look like he's just wearing a hat. I mean, he's holding my base up. But, you know. 
it looks like he's wearing a hat. So, um, let me go down and up, kind of, sort of. In a second. I think... Probably a bridge from here... Going to there will be the best course of action. It just suddenly occurred to me that that's probably what I'm going to have to do to actually get in there. Because, you know, I don't know Lytra, so there would be no other way for me to get in there other than that. I thought about trying to do, like, a parkour thing, but knowing myself and how bad I am at parkour, I don't think that will be a good idea. I mean, look at... Like, could you imagine trying to parkour from there to there? No. <laughs> that would just... No. That would be bad. On so many levels. Um, so we're not going to do that. But, um... I, I do like it, though. Don't get me wrong on that. I do like it, because it looks like he's holding it up. Like, he's definitely carrying it, and it looks heavy. Which is why I had to have such a big gas to hold up this part of my base, because it's a bit heavier than the other parts. A bit. Not totally, but a bit. So. Yeah, I'm, um... I can't wait to get this done. So I was thinking about this a little bit more, and if I build a bridge from here to there, by the principles of the way my base is designed, I would have to actually have a ghastly, like one of the little guys, holding up that bridge. Unless I want to prop it up with pillars, which kind of messes up my whole light show thing that I got going on that bridge there. So now I got to think about it a lot more, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I will figure it out, I promise. I'm just not 100% sure about exactly how I'm going to go about this, so we'll see what we uh, come up with. All right, so I decided to take a break from the Nether Coaster and come down here to take a look at this. Um, It looks great down here. It really does. It's very... um busy and bustling and they don't seem to be interested in the bread at the moment. I might have full villagers, so I might be trying to feed them stuff that they can't eat. Let's try this again. Here, anybody want it? Yep. Somebody, is, I think the librarian grabbed it. Well, somebody grabbed it. So, um... Does anybody ever get really creeped out by the way that they, like, stare at you? Because they give you, like, hard stares. I mean, it's really weird. The only thing that would be creepier... Have you ever thought about this? So, um... Mobs in Minecraft blinking. Like, if everybody had eyelids and they could actually blink. I think that... I get, Ooh, I picked up the seeds. Um... I feel like that would kind of be a little hyper-realistic in the wrong kind of way. And... Super creepy. Yeah, we need to we need to clean out the chest here because there's just way too much stuff. Um, so everybody eat things. We're at a clean house, but yeah, like imagine villagers who already give us really creepy stares, like blinking as they stare at us. I think I would be horrified by that. Oh my god, why do we have so many seeds? Well, they're breeding, which is essentially what I wanted, so that's good. Folks, it finally happened. It's only taken me, um, two updates to finally get my own trident. Like, uh, this is the first time ever that I've gotten a drown to actually drop a trident. I kid you not. Like, it's literally taken me almost two years to get a trident. So finally, it's happened. I thought that was a uh, shipwreck up ahead. 
awesome. We are definitely going to get whatever loot is in here. Um, I haven't done one of these in, like, a really long time. Not since, like, season one. Mm, the loot itself is kind of bland. Yeah, it's it's this is pretty bland loot, but you know, it's it's not lacking in usefulness. It's just, you know, not like diamonds or something, but that's fine. All right. So, uh I started going home and then I realized, wait, I need to actually go get the treasure and would you look at that? The map is literally leads to treasure that was like 20 blocks away from the shipwreck so that's awesome um i think it's right about there so let's uh let's dig a hole oh i am definitely gonna end up ripping apart this island oh come on where is it is it like not here well it's got to be here i mean it's it's got to be here cuz nobody's dug here. At least I'm just like going in the wrong direction. Where is it? Ah, here it is. There we go. We found it. Ooh, now that's some good loot. Definitely want the heart of the sea. Definitely going to take the iron. I'm going to take the crystals as well. That's a good haul. I like that. That's a very good haul. That makes me very happy. Uh, why don't we put the uh, treasure map in there too? So in my travels, I found a new texture pack. Or a resource pack, whatever you want to call it. And look what it does. As a matter of fact, um, let me turn off my texture pack really quick. Or the texture pack. It's called Bee Glazer, by the way. Yeah, see that? Like, totally different when uh, um, I you don't have the pack. Yeah, so it's Bee, it's Bee Glazer by TSTZ. I, I think it looks really sharp. Ooh, we're getting a little bit of lag here. Oh, there we go. Yay, my game worked right. But look at that. Look at how pretty that is. That's such a nice glow. Look the way that the trees glow. I mean, that's just like... That gives it such... That gives the nether such like a fantasy-like feel. I mean, it's already had a fantasy feel, but now it has like an extra fantasy feel. Uh... Look at that. Even the mushroom is glowing slightly. I mean, that's really beautiful. And, like, see the, uh, quartz and whatnot? It, like, glows too. Gold glows. Um, magma bo blocks have, like, the, uh, an extra little bit of glow to them. Their swords glow. I'm just gonna... Oh, uh, this might not have been a good idea. Actually, I survived that. Okay. Yeah, their eyes glow, too. I don't want to get too close because I don't want them to attack me. But yeah, they're like eyes glow. And there are like some other mobs that have glowing eyes. I think like Endermen and also Creepers have glowing eyes. So, um... Yeah, that's fun. But yeah, Bee Glazer is the uh, name of the texture pack. Um, I'll put a link in the description to it so you guys can see it. Let me just, uh, come through here and see what I can see. Look at that! That is sharp! Oh, that looks cool! With the shader especially, that looks cool. So I'm about to try something that's either going to work out really well or it's not, and, um... Hopefully it works out. We're going to take the horse and we're going to ride through our nether hub on the horse. And we're going to see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it goes well. I mean, that would be nice. 
if it did. So, um, sorry, don't mean to run you over, folks, but I, I have places to go and things to do. Oh, it just ran over a cat. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, how do I get you in? I guess I'll just shove you in there. <laughs> get in there, horse. You in? Are you in? Yeah, you're in. Okay, cool. So, uh, let me get my horse quickly before I lose my horse. Okay, cool. So we're in the nether with a horse. This is... Ouch. Ouch. Uh, alright. On our way to, uh, Barter Town. I have some things that... I have some errands to run. Things to pick up. Ouch. Uh, I need, I need to tie you up somewhere. Hold on. Uh, where do I, where can I tie you up? Um, do these? No. Uh, well, I guess uh, I can't tie you up anywhere, so... You'll just hang out on this island until I come back, okay? So, dragon, don't go anywhere. Oh, gosh! Dolphin! Dolphin! Dolphin, stop moving so I can save you. Dolphin! Hey, buddy! Buddy, come here! Come here, I'm trying to save you. Don't go in the nether, you'll die. Come here. Come here, back back into the water, honey. My goodness. <laughs> I've never seen them do that before. I didn't... Wow, I didn't know that they did stuff like that. Yay, save the dolphins! Protect wildlife! Protect our oceans! No, I seriously do take that very seriously, actually protecting our oceans. I mean, I live in Connecticut, and I'm right by the Long Island Sound, and that's, yeah, a thing that we concentrate on here in my state quite a bit. We have, like, all kinds of, like, ocean and sea-related laws here that are, like, really cool. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I was gonna get carrots. Like, I had a purpose to coming here. It wasn't just for ha-has. What does this say? Oh, Polly want a cracker. <laughs> I thought it would say, what crack? And I'm like, wait a minute. Did somebody do something inappropriate on here? But nobody here would do something like that. So, <laughs> um, it's one diamond per stack. So, I'm getting six. Or one diamond per two stacks. So, yeah, I'm getting six. Awesome. Yay. I've got food again. So, dragon... Lost some health in the nether there. I don't know if that's, like, a thing, but, um, here, have a, have a carrot. Okay? There you go, buddy. Good boy. So, I have a very important question for all of you. What should I name this other horse, and what should I name my llamas? Let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to name the llamas and my other horse, and I will definitely, uh, uh pick the best names so uh let me know what you think uh so i decided to use dark prismarine for the roof and i like it i didn't think that i would like it i thought i was gonna build this entire thing and be like i hate this but i actually really like it so uh, um i'm happy with it i mean it's definitely a different color in comparison to everything else in my base, but that's okay because it kind of does match the colors of the lamps a little bit. But also it, um, I am going to use it in other places. Excuse me, you can't be here. I'm busy. I'm recording a video right now. How dare you? Uh, I, uh, I like it. I really like it. It's kind of funny looking, but I like it. Um, I'm still undecided about the bridge, but we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, everybody. So before we end this episode here, I want to thank you guys very much for engaging in my videos more with a lot of likes and comments. Um, it's really motivated me to make content more often for all of you. So thank you so much for showing me support. Keep it coming because it helps support my channel and it really does keep me motivated. So thank you guys very much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time.